everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Brittany Diego and today we're gonna go over one of the necessary evils in life what well, I consider it to be at least which is networking I mean just that word makes me want to crawl under a rock but it's absolutely necessary if you want to get places in your fashion career so let's jump right in and I'm gonna share some of my tips for navigating networking events in the fashion industry Personally, I consider myself to be an extroverted instro <laughs> an extroverted introvert. So what I mean is I'm an introvert most of the time. I tend to keep to myself, but for the sake of my career, I have to put myself out there. So I bring out the extroverted side as needed. So as I mentioned, networking is crucial in the fashion industry if you want to get places in your career because the majority of these jobs are filled by referral. Actually, the majority of most jobs are filled by referral, but especially in the fashion industry. According to an article on the Huffington Post, 80% of jobs are never even posted online. So what you see online is only 20% of what's actually available out there. The rest you get by pounding the pavement. So yeah, networking is a contact sport, meaning you need to put yourself out there to meet new people. Even when you're quarantining, there are networking opportunities everywhere. I mean, everyone is hosting digital conferences, virtual events, virtual happy hours. So there is no excuse. Get on those Zoom calls and start networking. Get on LinkedIn and start meeting new people. I mean, everyone is home right now, so there's no better time than to get them now. I feel like a lot of people are just waiting for potential clients or job opportunities to literally knock on their door, but that is just not going to happen. So today I'm going to share with you some of my top tips for navigating networking events and these tips can be applied virtually or in person so if you know me or if you've taken any of my classes you know that I am huge on goal setting so I'm gonna need you to set some goals before you step foot into a networking situation if you're anything like me this also makes networking seem a little less intimidating when you have a game plan going in so first thing you want to do is write down your goals make it a goal to even attend networking events even if it's just once a month it's important to always be expanding your network remember what they say your network is a reflection of your net worth next make it a goal to connect with a certain amount of people give yourself an attainable and realistic number and what i mean by that is don't pressure yourself into making 30 new connections in one night that is just not going to serve you but if you say okay i want to make five solid connections tonight then that's a realistic and attainable goal to me it's all about quality over quantity any day so i'd rather meet five people who i can actually build a real relationship with like a genuine relationship than 30 people who aren't even interested in what I have to say or what I actually do. Next thing you want is to have your elevator pitch ready. Now this might sound kind of salesy, but you have to have something enticing to say to people when you first meet them. And it can't sound scripted either. It has to be a part of you. So sit down and brainstorm and really think about some fascinating areas of your career or some recent accomplishments that you can mention to potential new contacts. Otherwise, you've lost them. So depending on the type of environment I'm in, I'm either going to pitch myself as, hi, my name is Brittany Diego, who I am. I'm a celebrity fashion stylist which is what I do or if I'm in a more business environment I'm gonna pitch myself as Brittany Diego the CEO and founder of Fashion Mentor which is a digital fashion career platform now if they're interested in hearing more they're gonna ask questions so do not go on a 10 minute blurb about your life story I promise you are not gonna be remembered in the best light next point is you want to stand out in a good way so if someone walks up to you and they tell you they're a hairstylist but their hair is looking like a bird's nest you're gonna be like really same thing when it comes to being a stylist or working in the fashion industry people expect you to look fashionable so if you're out here telling people you're a stylist then you need to look the part it's a good idea to wear something unique like an accessory or just a really bomb outfit that makes people come up to you and ask where you got it from from there you can tell them I'm actually a stylist I put this together and go from there so stand out and look good while doing it next thing is you don't want to get too lit now you think this one is a given but it has to be said Last thing you want is to be out in these streets looking crazy and getting too lit. A lot of the better events have an open bar situation, but that does not mean it's your duty to drink everything up. So drink something tasteful, you know, have a little something in your hands, but do not get sloppy drunk. You do not want to be remembered as that person. They end up being the laughing stock of every event and you do not want that to be you. You want to be remembered in the best light possible. On top of that, you want to remember who you met. Networking is serious business, so treat it that way. Next thing you want to do is research, research, research. Find out who's going to be there and research them. If you're attracted to a certain event or an industry panel or a conference, 
you'll probably be able to figure out which big names are attending so make sure you do your research on them and get some background info that way when you do meet them in person you'll have something to base conversation off of. which can also mitigate any awkward silences that come up i hate awkward silences so make sure you know who you're talking to Okay, so the next tip is be a social butterfly. Don't get all codependent and talk to one person the entire night. They want to network too, so don't hold them hostage. If you came with a friend, split up so you don't end up networking with each other the entire night. Make the most of your time there because that doesn't count as networking. Next thing in this one, wait for it, is actually listen. When you meet someone, make sure you get their business card or better yet, their contact info. And after the conversation, write down some fun facts about what you learned about them. So I'm going to let you into something that I do at networking events. After I leave, I write down the names of the people that I connected with and want to follow up with in the notes section of my iPhone. And I also write down a fact or two about them. So when I follow up, I have something to say that lets them know that I was actually paying attention. Everyone feels special when someone remembers the little details about them. So find out who they work for, what they specialize in, and any other personal info that you can so you have something to talk about when you follow up in your next conversation. Which leads me to my next tip, which is follow up. Follow through with a follow up as soon as you can. I mean, the next day is ideal because we all get busy and you do not want to be that person coming into somebody's inbox like, hey, you remember me from Fashion Week three months ago? No, sis, they don't remember you. Time has moved on. And when you're following up, figure out how you can provide value to that person. Don't just outright ask for favors. That is one surefire way to get ghosted real quick. Next tip is don't be fake, don't kiss up, it is just not a good look. Flattery is cool and all when it's sincere, but do not overdo it and don't go overboard with the compliments. Just be your authentic self and you'll connect with people in a genuine way. Last but not least, like Nike said, just do it. Most of the time, it's just the voice in your head discouraging you from going, telling you you can't do it, you're not good enough, you don't belong in that room. That voice is a lie. I'm the queen of overthinking and talking myself out of things. So trust, if I can do it out of all people, then you definitely got it in you. One of the hardest parts is just getting out the house, getting dressed up, going to the event and introducing yourself to someone. So if you do just that, then I'm proud of you. The truth is, most people are just as nervous as you are, and they're open to talking to you. So don't be afraid to be the one to strike up conversation. You never know where that connection is going to lead you. So since you made it to the very end, I have a bonus tip for you. But first, go ahead and comment pink in the comments below so I know who my peoples are. <laughs> so the bonus tip I have for you is when you go to networking events, when people give you their business card, don't just stuff it in the bottom of your purse. I know I would feel some type of way if I give someone my business card, which I paid for, and they just throw it in their purse like it's nothing. So what I did was I got a business card holder, and you can get this from Amazon, you know, sleek, metallic, professional, and let me open it right up. And I have my business cards in here, so when someone gives me their card, I just slip it in, and it's nice and professional. And I also keep extras of my own. You can hold your business cards in here as well. So, so that's my extra tip of the day to make an even better impression at these networking events. So if you enjoyed today's tips, please be sure to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this. I'll see you next week.